Well, dear Maranatha family and all who may be joining us as guests, in the book of Isaiah, to a people living as exiles in a foreign land, wearied by what they see and hear all around them, without any reason to think that things will ever get better, God says this to these people. God says, look, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Don't you perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Isn't that something? There's a saying, after all, that goes like this. The more things change, the more things say the same. It's a newer saying, but it's basically just a riff off what we hear the teacher saying in the book of Ecclesiastes. There we hear the teacher say this, there is nothing new under the sun. Translation, we've been there, we've done that, and we're going to do it all again later. So don't get too excited and certainly don't get your hopes up. But what if God meant what he said in Isaiah? And what if God has acted upon his announcement about doing a new thing? And what if such newness is still accessible for us here today? Well, wonder of wonders, that's why we have gathered here today. We've gathered because of our conviction that something new has indeed burst among us in this world, in the midst of the tired, ordinary sameness of life. We've gathered here today because of our conviction that God has indeed begun to do something new through Jesus Christ, the one through whom all things have been created and the one in whom all things hold together. Meaning, in other words, that ever since the birth, life, death, and resurre resurrection of Jesus Christ, things have never been the same. For God has begun to do his new thing. Of course, it's easy for us to miss this. We live by faith in the midst of a world that insists on living by sight and insists on rehearsing tired old storylines. So God gathers us today for worship so that we might listen for his voice and that we might strain to see with clarity again what it means for us to participate in the newness that God has ushered in and is bringing about through Jesus Christ. So it's good for us to be together today to worship. Welcome to this service. And because it's God who gathers us, I invite you to receive God's greeting. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, and from Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Come then, let us unite our voices and lift them in song as we rejoice over this new thing that God is doing through Jesus Christ. Let us sing.